am I ready to write my book? This is a question that gets asked all the time from entrepreneurs, thought leaders, executives, experts who are thinking about writing a nonfiction book. They ask, am I ready yet? Is now the right time to write this book? And so I wanna break down nine thought provoking questions that will help you identify if you're ready for a book, but also if you're ready to write a great book that can immediately impact others and help you achieve your goals as a future best-selling author. And, you know, I'll be honest here. You know, these questions you can journal about and it'll feel really good. These questions, you might have immediate answers. These questions, you might have not the answers you're looking for, but that's okay. The biggest thing that I want you to take away as I ask these questions is, okay, does this relate to me? Am I answering the questions the way that I want to? And does this really make sense for me to write a book right now? Okay, so I broke them down into kind of three different categories. And the first question is, do I believe that I can help somebody based on the knowledge that I have? Do I believe that I can help somebody based on the knowledge that I have? So if you are an expert, okay, maybe you've been in a career, you've been a salesperson your whole life, you want to branch off on your own. Do I believe, do you believe that you can take your sales experience from your corporate job, from your W2 job, from your contract job, whatever type of sales you were doing? And do you believe that you can help somebody else become a better salesperson or have a better quality of life because of the knowledge that you've accumulated over the years? If you believe that you can help somebody, you are in a great position. This is a great starting place to be. Question number two, do I want to help somebody? Just because you have knowledge to share, it doesn't always mean that you want to help give that to other people. Okay. Or it may mean that you want to help people, but you may not want to do it in the book. So the question to ask yourself is, do I want to help somebody get the result that I've been able to achieve? And do I want to help them do that by me writing a book? Now, the cool thing is if you're interested in writing a book, you can write the book yourself. You can speak the book. You can get it interviewed the book. You can get it ghostwritten. There are ways to do it more now than ever before. So do you want to help someone? Do you want to help someone in the form of a book? Okay. Is a book the right medium for you, right? This is part of the second question. The third question to ask yourself is, have I already helped somebody get that result? Okay. If you've already helped somebody get the result, then you can absolutely write a book on that. A lot of great nonfiction books are the process that somebody teaches somebody else, right? So do I believe I can help somebody? Do I want to help somebody in the format of a book? And have I already helped somebody? If you can answer those three questions and each one of those are yes, you believe you can help someone, you want to help someone and you've already helped somebody, you are in a great position to think about writing this book and to take your knowledge and your expertise and turn it into a book to help other people. If the answer is no, well, then maybe there's a different vehicle for you to share your message. The answer might be no in general. And maybe you're like, you know what? This is not the direction I want to go. A book isn't the right direction for that. Maybe you want to get more experience first. Maybe you want to coach first and then write the book. Maybe you want to write the book, then coach. There's no right way. There's a way that works for you based on where you're at. And I want you to understand that. Look, most people in my position as a book writing uh, coach would tell you, hey, write the book, write the book, no matter which position you're in. And I always tell people, look, there's not one way to do everything. There are a lot of right ways, but it's about what you want. If it's been your dream to write a book for a decade, and now you're in a position where a book could jumpstart an entire second career for you, well, a book might make sense to go first because it's a bucket list item and it can propel your career. That's amazing. Okay. Let's move on into the second batch of questions for four, five, and six. When it comes to knowing if you are ready to write a book, ask yourself the question, what do I know? And if you are more knowledgeable than 90% of people or shit, if you're even more knowledgeable than your close circle, you are probably capable of writing a book on that topic. All right. Now, I'm not saying you want to write just like everybody else and regurgitate information. That's not what great books are about. 
Great books are about taking what you know and putting your own spin on it. There's a reason there's a ton of sales books. There's a reason there's a ton of money books. Why? Because people are always looking for different perspectives, different thoughts, different ways of thinking to get them the results that they want. So ask yourself, what do I know? Okay. Part of that, what are other people asking me? What am I talking about? What am I passionate about? All right. There will be themes that keep coming up. The second question of this part two, which is really the fifth question. I'll stop confusing you. All right. The fifth question here is what transformation have I experienced that I can now teach or share with others? Okay. So for example, I'm an author. I wrote a book on how to write a book. Well, I went through a transformation of not being an author to being an author. And that transformation was very hard for me because I didn't have any guidance. I spent hundreds of hours. I Googled it. Well, I had a transformation. I did three more books. I have more knowledge. I know more than most people. Oh, you know what? I can share how I wrote my book to grow my business. That became the topic of my fourth book. So I experienced a transformation. I found a way to make it easier based on what I know. Now I help them. The third question of this part two, again, I said I was going to stop confusing you, but here I am. Here's question number six. Have I helped myself get the result I aim to teach in the book? Okay. Have I helped myself get the result I aim to teach in my book? So in my case here for my fourth book, Big Idea to Bestseller, did I help myself get the result? The result that I'm teaching in my book is how to write, publish, and launch a nonfiction book to grow your business and make an impact. Have I already achieved that result? Yes, I have. Therefore, I can comfortably teach that book from a place of personal experience as well as expertise. And this is really, really important because what I don't want you to do is to say, I'm ready for the book, but I haven't actually done anything yet, right? Make sure you don't have to be the world's greatest expert. You don't have to have achieved all of the success in the world just yet, but you need to have had done enough to take somebody one to two steps with you. And if you can do that, you can write a really, really great book. So questions four, five, and six to recap are, what do I know? What transformation have I experienced that I can teach and share with others? And have I myself helped myself get the result that I aim to teach in the book? Okay, those are questions one through six. Now the final three, these, these are really the, the thought-provoking questions where you're gonna have to really get honest with yourself. But these are the questions that, in my opinion, are, are one you know you're really ready. And, and the reason I say this is because when I ask people these questions, if they can answer these questions one way or another, and you'll know very quickly what that way is, they often tell themselves that they're ready. The reason a lot of people don't write the book is because they're scared of what people are going to think. They're scared of, you know, not knowing where to begin. They're scared of not having the process. They, they're scared of, is anyone going to actually read the book? And so it's really important that we kind of go through those with questions seven, eight, and nine. So question seven is, is my desire for impact greater than my fear of judgment? Is my desire for impact greater than my fear of judgment? If your desire for impact is greater than your fear of being judged or your fear of what other people are gonna think, then you are ready to write a book. Because writing a book is vulnerable. Writing a book, you're opening yourself up to the public. You're opening yourself up. So is your desire for impact helping other people? Shit, is your desire for making money and impact greater than your fear of judgment, your fear of people criticizing, your fear of people giving you a one-star review? All right, if the answer is yes, then you are ready to write your book. Question number eight, is my desire for impact greater than my dislike of writing? A lot of people that are first time authors have a strong dislike or a strong like resistance to writing, a strong nervousness to being able to write a full length book. And so, but you gotta remember, is your desire for impact greater than your dislike of writing? If it is, you're going to have a strong enough reason to keep on going when the writing part gets tough. But if it's not stronger, it's not greater, then it's going to be very hard to keep going when you are writing the book. Now, again, you don't have to write your book. We offer, for example, and many other people, we offer, we will interview you and then we will write the book in your own words. You don't actually have to write anything. We will also have you work with an author coach. So they will guide you through the writing process. 
We will also show you best writing practices. Okay, we help a lot of first time authors go through this process. And then question number nine is, is my desire for impact greater than my imposter syndrome? Is my desire for impact greater than my imposter syndrome? Who's going to read my book? Who am I to write this book? Okay, these are things that stop people dead in their tracks from writing a book that can really help people. And what I've realized is that when the desire for impact is greater than any of these things, you are ready to take on the challenge of writing this book. You are ready to handle it. Okay, so let me recap one through nine. Do I believe I can help somebody? Do I want to help somebody? Have I already helped somebody? Number four, what do I know? What transformation have I experienced that I can teach and share in my book? Have I helped myself get the result that I aim to teach in my book? Is my desire for impact greater than my fear of judgment? Is my desire for impact greater than my dislike of writing? And is my desire for impact greater than my imposter syndrome? If you can answer these nine questions and you can feel confident about this, mm, you better write that book because you're ready. And the only thing that's holding you back is yourself at this point. All right. So you got this. If you answer these questions, you say yes, and you know a lot and you can help people and you want to use a book as your vehicle for changing your life and others, then you are ready to write your book. Let's go. Let's get after it. Make the magic happen. Come on now.